Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, uh, welcome back to the Man Cave. Always dangerous when I'm in here because it means I'm about to attempt something technical and these don't always go well for me. However, today what I'm going to do is attempt to fix the sloppy throttle action on the Triumph Speed Twin. What I mean is this here. Uh, don't like it, makes the bike jerky at slow speeds. Anyway, if you want to find out how to fix that, stick around and stay tuned. Okay, so how come suddenly I'm an expert on how to fit this uh, sloppy throttle on the uh, on the speed twin then? Well, it uh, comes because I have some experience in this area. A few years back, uh, I had exactly the same issue on my Ducati Panigale, which is just here, uh, which it so happens has exactly the same sort of throttle housing. If I show you, look, here we go. It's the same throttle housing, uh, exactly as a Triumph, except it's just mounted slightly forward. So look, if we look at it from this angle, see here we've got the screws and stuff on the front, but just see how that looks. And here's the Triumph one, look, exactly the same plastics uh, and the screws are underneath, but it is exactly the same throttle housing. And uh, what I did was this very same fix on here. If you look at this one now, look, there's absolutely no slack in here. And it absolutely transformed the way that that bike uh, handles at slow speed. And in fact, I said at the time that that's the best uh, mod I've ever done to my Ducati. So I'm hoping it's going to be the same for the Speed Twin. Uh, exactly the same mod. I did make a video on how I did it on the... Um, Panigale, so I'll leave it to you. I'll put a link uh, or a card in the corner so you can go and have a look at that if you want to do this in detail to see how it's done. But I'll quickly now, well, well hopefully, I'll quickly fit that throttle spacer on here now in the same way as I did on the Panigale. It's a little bit fiddly, um, and then we'll go and take it for a test ride and see if it's made any difference to the slow speed handling. And uh, fingers crossed, it's going to transform the bike in the same way as it did on the Panigale. Actually, before I crack on, let me just show you uh, what I'm going to fit onto the bike in case you hadn't seen the Panigale video before and you're interested. What I'm going to fit is basically a couple of these little spaces within the throttle housing. Uh, these are something like, you buy these from uh, the internet from a company called PanigaleSpaces.com. Again, I'll put a link below. In fact, I've got a discount code as well with them because uh, I've used these, uh, I've been so happy with these on the, uh, on the Panigale. Uh, they're about, there's something like 25 quid, you buy them in US dollars, but uh, it seems a lot of money for just a bit of plastic, but trust me, it's a fix that's well worth that money when you feel how the bike feels afterwards. Now what they do, is if I can open this, let's get these puppies out, there we go, is provide you with this little bit. Uh, and in fact, looking at that, that looks like that's probably all right. It's like a three-pronged bit, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it gets um, focused on the GoPro. It's a special tool that you'll need to undo the throttle housing. I found before when I did it, it didn't fit very well. I had to use one of my own, but that looks a little bit blunder at the front end. So they give you the bit that you need, and then you get these plastic parts, and you're going to need two of them. They come in various sizes, so you select the ones that fit your particular bike, because various Ducatis and various Triumphs have the same issue. All right, so that's what I'm going to put on. Back to the throttle housing. Let's get it undone and uh, try and fit these little puppies. Alrighty, I hate taking stuff to bits on my bike, but having done this before on the Panigale, it was relatively straightforward, and I'm glad to say this time, the little tool they provided Looks like it fits perfectly, so. Because what you don't want to do is end up mashing up your bolts, or screws rather. There's just two of those that pop out. Put those somewhere safe. And then you should be able to open up the housing, if I remember rightly. Or, actually, looking at it, there's a couple of Phillips as well. Let me undo the Phillips. There's four screws to go. That looks more like it. Right, now over to carefully. Let's see if I can lift that off there. There we go. So it's quite straightforward. Got to remember how that goes back on that way. Let me uh, put that down in that orientation. Okay, let me hold the camera. Right, hopefully you can see in here, uh, this is exactly the same as the inside of the Ducati one, a little bit cleaner. You'll see there's some lugs in here. See, there's that little lug there, and there's another one like it on the other side, just under there, look. I don't know if you can see it in there, it's just tucked under there. It's going to be very fiddly, but that's what I need to put the little orange spaces on. So uh, what I'll do is crack on, I'll, uh, I'll fit those orange spaces and I'll show you once they're in place so you can see what they're like, but it's going to be a bit fiddly, I'll have to put the camera down to do it, so it'll be a sort of a, that's the before, and then hopefully in a minute you'll see the after, so stay tuned, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, and here's the after shot, here we go, I'll fit them in here, look, it actually turned out to be much easier than it was on the Ducati. Uh, um, it's exactly the same assembly, but having done it once before, obviously I had a bit of an idea of what I was doing, so I don't know if you can see in there, but there's the first one, so that's the smaller of the spaces goes in there, and then the larger one 
uh, just went on the other side there. Don't know if you can just see it in there. Uh, just popped in there. And the way I did it was uh, I actually used the throttle body or the throttle um, rubber itself, if you like, to kind of push it in, in place. So it's a little bit fiddly, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. And when you get the spacer kit, um, you'll see that they actually come in two sizes. I don't know if you can see there in my hand. Look, there's a smaller one and a larger one. So the smaller one uh, went towards the top end and the larger one at the bottom end. Again, uh, if it's not quite clear, go and watch the uh, video I did on the Ducati and you'll see uh, again a bit, in a bit more detail exactly how that goes on. It's exactly the same procedure. So all I need to do now then is uh, fit the um, rest of the uh, throttle body back in place, uh, check that everything moves and then uh, we should be good for a test. Right, the only thing you need to be aware of when you're fitting this back is there's a little lug there. Look, I don't know if you can see that and that has to locate in a hole in the handlebars to stop everything all rotating around. So that's going to go in like that. There we go with the lug in place and then do everything back up again. We should be good to go. Just while I'm doing this, just to let you know, I'll put a link below as to where you get these from. It's ducatispaces.com was the original uh, website. They make them not just for Ducatis, obviously, but for Triumphs too, various types. Um, and if you look there, there's uh, also, if you look at the description below, there's a, a discount code if you want to get one. Uh, if you use uh, the code, I think it's Missenden SK for the spacer kit, you can get 10% off. So uh, definitely worth doing that if you want to go down this route. Right, let's get this tightened up, all four screws, I'll just check that the throttle's got, you know, it moves all right, and then we'll go out and test it and see how she feels. Okay, all tightened up, just checking that it all moves okay, nothing's going to move around the handlebars, it's all good, and then if you look at this now, look, when I move it, there's none of that initial play, just absolutely rock solid, exactly the way it is on my Ducati, which I far prefer. Now, bike manufacturers often put a little bit of slack in there purposely. I'm sure Triumph and Ducati have done the same thing here. But as I say, for me, it just makes the bike way too jerky at low speeds, and this is a, a great solution to that. But one way to find out for sure is to go and ride it. So I'm going to get my kit on. Let's go and give her a ride. So here I am out on the bike then, and I can tell you the transformation is absolutely incredible. As soon as I jumped on, literally, as I pulled out of the garage, I could tell that space has made a huge difference. It has absolutely transformed the way the bike feels at slow speeds. I know that sounds like I'm just gushing over something, and it sounds like an advert. And I mean, in a way, this is an advert, but in a good way, because this is a product that I think really does enhance your bike. I loved it on my Ducati Panigale, and it's absolutely done the same trick now on my Triumph as well. There's absolutely no jerk here I am normally when I ride down this road at 30 miles an hour the bike is all jumping around and jerking where that uh, too much free play was now is just absolutely perfect the gear changes are smooth look I'm on a bumpy road this is absolutely beautiful it has uh, done exactly the same job as I say as it did on my Panigale I cannot recommend those throttle spaces enough to you if you have a Triumph that has a ride by wire throttle or indeed a Ducati that has the same throttle check out the link below uh, you'll get a discount as well if you use my uh, discount code there, uh, Missenden SK. Uh, and for the sake of a, you know, 30 quid or whatever it is, it will absolutely transform your bike. I promise you, I'm not just saying that. Give it a try. I challenge you to disagree with me. Brilliant. All right, there we go. That's it for that particular mod. Worked very successfully. Uh, first time I did it, I found it a little bit fiddly. Second time round, obviously, I've uh, done it before, so I knew what I was in for. It was much more straightforward. But uh, there we go. If you've got a Ducati or you've got a Triumph, I hope that's been of some interest to you. Thoroughly recommend that to you. All right, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missing and Flyer. Cheerio. So good. This has transformed a brilliant bike into an absolutely great bike now. What the difference a little bit of plastic makes. Loving it.